All right, guys. Um, last time I tried making this video, I got like five or six phone calls in a row. Like it interrupted me, and I was I was screaming and yelling, and it got very stressful. So I guess it was just not the right time. But now I'm gonna attempt this. I'm gonna make this video here. I'm gonna pause the the video numerous times um, because I'm mixing it on my own. I ran out. I'm how to uh, utilize MMS. Um, Miracle Mineral Supplement uh, is one name of it. Second name is, um, that's it, Miracle Mineral Supplement, MMS. You've heard of it. If not, research Jim Humble, J-I-M-H-U-M-B-L-E. I'm doing this <clears throat> without my face because I pretty much, I just, I didn't just woke up. I woke up two hours ago, but I didn't like, uh, it's rain, I'm a roofer. You know, in my old job, and uh, today it's, it's a st storm's coming through, so I'm not, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm not working, so I'm getting catching up with a bunch of paperwork, and I, I ran out of MMS, so I'm making two batches of it. That'll last me for about two to three weeks, because I'll show you how I use it as well. But, uh, I mean, these are just some bottles. Now they started making these plastic, but this is the, you know, the, let me turn this light on. You know, this is like the magnesium citrate bottles that they have. What is this called? Like an enema? Oh, no, this is an oral, <laughs> not an enema, an oral solution for constipation and stuff. Uh, you know, you need this if you're doing detox and such, but I don't take this anymore, but I use, I'm using the bottles. If you use any bottle, I would recommend glass. And then for the tops are basically, I use, you know, like if you ever use liquid aminos, you, these tops and these bottles, you should use, but I use only the tops and then I use glass. You don't want, uh, you want to like minimize plastic. This is dirty, so I'm going to, oh, it's just not super, super clean. So I'm going to wash my hands. Camera top's a little dirty, but anyway. Uh, there's my papaya over there, nice, and that's the food flies. All right, so now, the second name is, the more upgraded version is called um, calcium hypochlorite. It went from MMS-1 to MMS-2 to MMS-3. Let me put, let me pause and bring it over. Okay, so basically, um, I am a pastor with the Genesis 2 Church in uh, sent of uh, Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing. What does it say? Restoring health to the world. So, Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing. Uh, I can't zoom that much, I guess. whatever Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing Church of Health and Healing uh, restoring health to the world so basically these it's a two-part system in the past you would have to do the MMS and the activator I did this for a while I have other bottles that I got even before this that uh, you have to activate it and in like two or three days it goes away so you don't do too much now there's an upgraded ver by the way the websites here you can't even get access to them in america not i don't even think you can get access to them in colombia anymore they're attacking this is a very one of the most powerful things that you can do this is bleach if you had to say anything if i had to describe it in like one word this is bleach you're basically alkalinizing your body but what it does in the meantime is anything this comes in contact with it obliterates it on a, on a molecular level now, um, this is very dangerous to use if you do not use supervision. So you, there's a ton of stuff. There was a ton of stuff. I'm not sure if it's available anymore online, but I'll, I'll, I can do this thoroughly, privately, publicly. I'm gonna make one video and then one shorter video with some links just to kind of give you breadcrumbs and such. But otherwise, I'm, gonna, I'm doing this quick video. I have to do stuff. I have a ton of stuff to do. I'm doing this to help you. If, if uh, I'm going to tell you how it helped me, 
Um, the first time I took this was about, I would say 10, 12, maybe, let me see here. No, no, no. It was about nine years ago, maybe around 2012, maybe 2013, when I, when I woke up, you know, I, I had my eyes closed. <laughs> I had my eyes closed to this and this. How's that song from Norb's World? I had my eyes closed, eyes closed. Anyway, it's a good song by Norb's World. Uh, and anyway, so now I woke up around 2012 fully. And uh, then I started doing the detox. It took me 10 years to detox my body. I'm in the best shape of my life. I have six to eight pack abs. And I keep up with 18 year olds. Like I'm, I just, you know, I lifted up like 10, uh, 100 pound rolls, two flights of stairs. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna turn 50 on 29th of November. It's my birthday. You want my social? All right, now, uh, so that's how it used to be before. Two part system, you put the equal amounts, put it into a glass container. Uh, so I showed you about the liquid amino tops. These are, these are good. Now, this is MMS2. And by the way, I already found, I found one. I thought, I thought I pre-mixed two of them, but I'll just walk it over. So this is what it looks like. Now, what it is, is actually I'm gonna do that right now. You, you can mix it a little extra when it's crystallized on the bottom like this. With, with, after it sits for a day, you're gonna to wanna to get it and put it into a fresh bottle. Or you can dilute it. You could dilute it, but I, I, I overdid it last time. I put too much. So now I'm just gonna spill it in here without, without making much turbulence. Once that starts shaking, the white stuff on the bottom, I stop. Okay, you see That's what I did? Once it started shaking that stuff, so there's nothing in here except pure MMS2, which is calcium hypochlorite. I'll hold it. Calcium hypochlorite. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's this powdery, it's powdery, but now it's turning into somewhat of a paste. I don't know how, but I already showed you. Let me read it just in case. Sacramental cleansing powder. Sacramental, sac sacrament of the Genesis 2 church for sacramental use. So this is how they get, you know, away, uh, you know not get away with, but this is how publicly... You know, this is a spirit of a religion. It's a, it's a, it's a not a religious. It's a, uh, it's a sacramental use for the Genesis two church uh, of health and healing. Now, this is pure, uh, not diluted. So you can easily, and I, you know, recommend that you could even get. I gotta show you right now. This is just a, this is just a dropper, but just a bit of information that this company, Blessed Herbs, is going out of business. They they uh, announced that last year they weren't going to re up on their products. I, I I'm, I'm having surge over here, and I I didn't have the time. I wanted to write them a letter. Oh, now I gotta deal with that because we'll go. Oh, there's a storm coming. That's why I'm not going to work because it's gonna start raining. But I'm gonna have to go press that button. Let me pause this. Okay, so I had to uh, I had to you know reset the press the button for the um, battery backup. Now, so this company here, Blessed Herbs, they kind of go, going out of business, and the, the, it has the best for me. It was the best full body detox cleanse. I'm talking about look blood and skin rejuvenator. I'll show you the whole kit right here. You know, this is just the box right here, Blessed Herbs Kit. I've done about, maybe about 10 of these. I bought about 10 of these. I mean, it's phenomenal. You want to do that in the summertime. You don't want to do it. I mean, you could experiment in the winter if, they, if you still can get these. Otherwise, you would have to find the ingredients. I'm sure they'll be available. And then all tinctures and, you know, it includes a parasite detoxification. 
blessed herbs. Now that was dirty, so I, I gotta change these gloves because that's dusty up there. I haven't dusted and I do not want to. So I want to keep sterile now. I'll tell you what happened. That This is like really personal and private. The first time I, well, what, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I have a little bit of MSN here, MSM, and I, uh, multi, no, what do you call it, Miracle Mineral Supplement, MMS. I said, I hope I didn't say MSM, MMS. So I take this in a dropper, you know, I don't fill it in there, but I could. And uh, basically I, I, I could put a drop in my, in my kombucha you know, one to two drops, that's the high level stuff. I would not recommend it unless you've done it for a, a while. At the beginning, the first time I did this, I was bold because I was a, I was a guinea pig, a human guinea pig on myself because I, I wanted to try everything for detox. So I, I, you know, I pretty much hurt myself, but the experience I've gained, I want to share as much as I can publicly, but a lot of this stuff is sensitive information. That's why I made, I'm going to make this whole series on, um, you know, health and wellness, which I believe it's the uh, 45 videos. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm sure it's the 45 videos, or no, 56, 56, yep, 56 basically taking the five and make, you know, uh, the, you know, the five, which is the pentagram and the hexagram. So going from physical body to light body, you know, uh, Star of David. Merkaba, you know, uh, 12 strand DNA activation, all that stuff is interesting, you know, keywords to pop in and search. But uh, basically, you know, like mastering the human body. So we're going basically from hell going up to heaven. And uh, you have to shed all the unnecessary uh, weight and get all these, these hooks and um, attachments. Basically, if everything is an attachment, you know, even relationships and humans and people. So this is very, very, very powerful stuff. I'd be glad to give supervision. You know, it might not be, um, you know, Santos Banachi does this, uses this. Down in Mexico in San Porto, uh, San, what do you call it? Porto Morelos in Mexico. I've been wanting to go and visit him. They have a pod, you know, they have a podcast now, Synchronism Society. Dr. Robert Kassar uses this. Uh, everybody, you know, uh, mentions it and such. This is, you got to research this. I can just give you little breadcrumbs. Now, I took 13 drops of this. Something happened to me. I was pretty much in, like, I, I was in bed for about three days. My entire, like, this part of my body, this lower part, right underneath the belly button, was in great deal of pain. What happened was I had parasites. The parasites, when you attack it from your mouth, they want to survive, so they burrow holes through your small intestine, and this is what causes leaky gut. There's nobody talking about this. Leaky gut is the worst symptom that you could have, and a lot of people have it. They're either, if you're not doing anything for, for health and you're just eating, that, I thank God, and I hope you do not have parasites in your gut, but a lot of the people that I know, are, are, they say, and I think I agree, that at least 70, but prop, most, like 70% of people, humanity on the planet, have large parasites, and they grow very, very big. If your stomach growls, I'm going to make a video about it. I'm going to do a search on Google and YouTube for stomach growling. You know, people with stomach growling, they're like, oh, my stomach's growling, oh, I need to get, let me go get a bagel, or, you know, let me eat some rice, or something like that. If your stomach growls, that is not your stomach growling, it's a parasite growling. And that parasite is in there, you're not feeding it what it wants to eat, and then it starts squirming around, and that is what stomach growling is. Right now, my stomach's not growling, you know. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of different things that you could do that, you know, to eliminate these parasites from the body. Now, this is one of them. There's macroscopic parasites and microscopic parasites. You know, there's small ones. And then there's big ones that you can physically see with your eyes. And um, basically, 
if you wanted to experiment on a beginning stage level, beginning stage level, this I don't use anymore. You're going to find calcium hypochlorite. Calcium hypochlorite. I'll spell it. C-A-L-C-I-U-M. H Y P O C H L O R I T E, calcium hypochlorite. They sell it on Amazon, you know, and they use it for pools and such. Um, of course, you can go down and get those bombs in Home Depot, but there's, if you look at the chemical list, this is only one chemical, one chemical. So now, I'm going to show you how to mix it quick, but this is the finished product. You could easily dilute this. So your preference, I use it pure and then I use a cup of water and I'm going to tell you what I use it for. You know, I would not recommend internally taking this, but start by for a year or something, just adding some and, rinse, you know, for a mouthwash. What that's going to do, if you do a mouthwash with calcium hypochlorite, of course diluted, I do it pure, I'll do it right now, you know, uh, I, I, I do it and then you gargle with it, you know. Make sure you don't swallow at the beginning, but me, if a I, if I drop goes down, it's fine because I'm pretty well detoxed. And what's going to happen is it's going to go, you'll never get an ear infection again. Your nose is always going to be clear. I take a, you know, like a drop of this with water and snort it right up my nose. I'll actually snort it up the nose that's uh, blocked up more. Of course, it's going to go into your, you know, it's going to go into your brain. It's going to... If your brain has got detox, you can, get, you can go through a major, major detox reaction, which is called a Herxheimer's or a detoxification reaction. Uh, what was the other word? Uh, that's what it is. A detoxification reaction means you're killing a lot of stuff that's not you, that's not a part of your body. What happens then is your body wants to know what to do with it. And when it wants to know what to do with it, it basically is either going to utilize it for fuel or it's going to want to expel it. That's why the other video that I made about chemtrail detoxification, you have to do this with that. So I didn't, I didn't want to kind of do everything in one video, but this is an important video. Just to start, then anybody can ask me. My info is all over the channel, and I can advise you. So basically, you want to start with that. Instead of using Purell, have this. You know, it's bleach, so test it. Get an old pair of, uh, you know, an old pair of, uh, you know, a shirt or a sweater and pour some on it. I actually haven't done that. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do it right now. I want to know. So I'll let you know. I mean, this is an old sweater. I, I, I use it. I don't care if it gets a little white over here. So I just did that test, and I'll let you know maybe in the comments. So now, um... You want to you want to use this as a as a PRL like this. You know these here. You this one for, for example, I shaved it down. I put a knife in here to shave it down so it so it stays open. But I think this one is the one that leaks. I have three of them here. Let's see. Yep, this one is the one that leaks. I'm gonna just change this to another cap. Okay, this one closes perfect, but I, I shaved it down a little, like I put a knife and did this because, uh, you know, when you're washing your, you know, your, your face or whatever, or you're using it, you want to be able to open it up, but sometimes your hands got soap on it, you want to be able to open it up easy. Now, when it's brand new, those things are hard to open and you hurt your finger, like, you know, so this one, I shave it down a little, All right, so that's that. So what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, you use it as, or you can do it in the Purell, but I, it may melt. Uh, it may melt a little bit of the plastic. So I just keep it like that. Let me see if this is leaking. By the way, nope. See, perfect. And then you know we'll, you'll find out if it if it if it bleaches your clothes. I definitely will. I lighten up your hair. So this kills everything. This kills everything, positive and negative bacteria. You know. So anyway, that's done. And this is just, if you want to add it, that's more advanced, more advanced. You know, you can add a drop or a half a drop, you know what I mean, to a, a, a drink or so, and then it will, it will allow only your body to, uh, to process that food or that uh, drink instead of the unfavorable bacteria and parasites to 
basically consume that meal. So, uh, but it's going to change the pH. That's why you, you know, you can't eat, you can't use it with food because when you eat food, you want, you can, I just haven't done it because I didn't need it. And I want to, I want to allow my stomach to create acids to break down the, um, my, my, my food. Okay. So that's that. And then I'm just going to show you how to, so start off with mouth washing. I snorted up my nose, one drop with some water. Um, you could take it on a Q-tip, right? You do this. You know, you get a Q-tip, you put the Q-tip in there, and then you, you do your ears. You know, at the, at the beginning, do less. Maybe dilute this, 50 water, 50% water or so. Or, or you could put, you could get a cup, 12 ounces, 16 ounces, and put one drop in, and then just use that. Start off slow. You know, I did 13 drops on my first shot. Intake them into my body, and then I got leaky gut from that. I'm finally, I finally healed that. But, but it took me years to heal that. It took me years to even figure out what it was, what, what happened to me. Why did I have so much pain over here? It's because I had, I'm an international guy, so I do international travel, and I've had international partners, all type. When you have international partners, basically, let's say South American, Asian, African, you know, you're American, let's say you're American, maybe you could be European, whatever. When... This is why when this is why when the conquistadors went to Mexico, they um, everybody got sick and died, and it didn't happen in one day. It happened because you infect them with European freaking black plague type of um, you know. Uh, it's basically cancer, parasites, Lyme's disease, candida. Yeast, mold, and fungus, those are, those all, those, everything I just mentioned have different strains and strains in different parts of the world. So now, if you have those strains and you have, you get intimate with someone, you're going to give them, talk about sex, you know, STDs, that's, that's the least of it. We're talking about yeast, in other words, uh, cancers, you know. A very aggressive type of cancer, you know, parasites, Lyme's disease, yeast, mold, fungus, candida, seven. You know what I mean? So these are the key ones. These are the key ones. And then, uh, so now, especially being in New York with being, you know, it's it's the United Nations kind of capital. You know what I mean? It's the capital, you know, it's a, uh, what do they say? It's New York. It's, it's a capital del mundo. You know, it's the capital of the world, New York. I mean, and it really is. If you're not smart, if you're a, a promiscuous, you are done. You you can you can be demised. You can find your demise if you're if you're promiscuous. But if you then if you can conquer your health, then you can be promiscuous. You know then because you you know. But the other person, you know, you got to kind of you know uh, uh, be considerate of the your partner. If they can't do this, then within a year they're gonna get sick. And I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. Hey, I, I, I feel bad. It's just that pretty much every one of my gr major girlfriends, they're all overweight now. It's because they couldn't conquer. When you have these things inside your body, your body demands you to eat a certain way. And then especially when the winter time comes down, when the winter time comes around, winter time comes around and then you, your body naturally wants to consume more calories to store them as fat. So now, when you have all these unfavorable items I just mentioned in your body, you're, um, they're all going to want to feast on the food that you're eating in through your mouth into your, you know, into your stomach and intestines. So it's first come, first serve. The larger parasites are at the top. The smaller ones are at the bottom. They, each one of them eats the other species. So all of them pretty much defecate inside your body and then you pretty much eat that as food. It's almost like having a probiotic. You know, that's positive bacteria. Probiotic. Probiotic. But, and then there's antibiotic that kills bacteria, that kills biotics. You know, it's antibiotic, it kills biotics. It kills all biotics. This is an antibiotic. You know, basically, it kills all, uh, all everything. It kills everything, good and bad. 
But then, if you take, you know, enzymes, those enzymes help. And if you take, you know, kombucha, you know, like I got a little bit of kombucha over here. Like, this is a good kombucha from Costco. Don't drink the bottom part. You see, this part over here, don't, on this brand, on other brands, you got to test it. This is basically the, the poop of the kombucha. That's, you know, this is my opinion now. I go where I, my, what I feel. On this one, Health Aid Kombucha that they sell here in America. This one I get at Stop and Shop and pretty much maybe Whole Foods. But I haven't been to Whole Foods. It's too far away. But this health, this Pink Lady Kombucha, oh my God. This is, you know, how the, the urban kids say, you know, this is crack, basically. It's a bad, it's a very bad, you know, slang term. But it's it's really good. This one, I can drink the bottom. But the uh, the ginger one brand of this, I can, but I'm not going to do it anymore because I feel like a detox reaction, meaning my body doesn't want it in the body, in my body. So so this one, I can drink it and my body does want it. I can tell because you'll feel it right down here. Your body is trying to expel it. You feel like a little bit of a, of a pain. But these definitely, so what you do is, is you take it, if it's a full bottle, I don't have any more because I just drank them. You take it it's, while it's still sitting for a while in the refrigerator. Don't shake it, don't do anything. You undo it as it is, don't even rotate it, and then just spill it on an angle. Spill it on an angle inside there, and when it gets to the end and all this stuff wants to come out, you stop. And then it, you could fill it up to about up to here, then this you discard. Done. All right. That's it. That's enough. Mouthwash, nose, Q-tips. You'll never have an ear infection again. You'll never have, you know, like brain fog. It'll take you a while. And then you want to increase it in the summer. I'm going to do a whole detox series. If anyone's interested, you know, uh, I, I mean, I, if I don't need to, but it's going to be, you know, it may be paid. Um, but, but you got to start at New Year's. That's why the, the New Year's resolution is so important. New Year's, but if you start experimenting now in November, well, you know what? I'm gonna give that a try. Let me try that. Try the detoxification products, the uh, the chemtrail detox stuff. But that 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 uh, goes for not only chemtrails but everything. All right, now, so that's it. Mouthwash, nose, Q-tips, hand sanitizer. Four things, and then to con to intake it, very diluted very diluted if you don't want to have major problems you might have to get surgery they'll, they'll tell you you need surgery uh, when that happens but I didn't believe in doctors at that time okay now hey boo boo that's my little cat what you doing Baba okay he didn't want to come in let me just wash this Now, now this thing right here, I'm only using this because just to keep it clean, but this is a different video. It's called Fenbendazole. This is a different video, but this basically is, let me see if I have it in one moment. Okay, this fenbendazole is basically, um, it's the same stuff that you get at Pet, PetSmart, um, it's expensive, one little pouch of dog dewormer. If you think dogs, if, you, if dogs have worms, what do you think about humans? You think we don't have worms? If they have to get dewormed every year, we have to get dewormed every year. I purchased this stuff in bulk. If if the amount that I took, I I can't. I, let me see if it was about. I think I think I might have taken. I don't know if it was last year or two years ago. I was on a roll with it, and I took about a hundred grams of it. I, I I wanna I wanna make sure it's not ten grams, but I can't find it right now. But if I, you know, just to give you a tidbit, let me let me just find out how much I how much I took. Hold on. 
Okay. Fen Bendazol here, 500 grand. I, what did I say, 100 grand? Oh my God. Wait. 500 grand. Yes, I'll prove it. Look, this is a new one. That's 500 grams. 500 grams. So I took 500 grams of this stuff. What did I say before? 100 grams? I took 500 grams of this shit. And this was the most amazing experience of my life. Right here. But that's a different video. See? There's a whole different video. You could do the research. There's a whole team of worldwide people doing this. It's called Fembendazole, and the other one is called Ivermectin. And it's a different video because I have to go. I have. I was supposed to have an appointment. This is the old time. It's really nine o'clock now. So, uh, dog dewormer. This is guy talking about dog dewormer. This guy's crazy. This guy's weird. Yeah, well, this is only for those with eyes to see, the eyes to, that have eyes to see and ears to hear. MMS, this is it. Since I'm at it, no, I'm not gonna do another one. I'm only doing one. You got this, like a little toothpick thing, uh, tooth scraper. And then you want to get a little bit in here, you know, get some in here and then get it out. I mean, you could easily just do it with water, but this used to be dry. I'm not even touching it and my body knows that I'm handling it. The, the, my bacterial um, consciousness in my body knows that I'm preparing this. That's how smart bacteria are because it's starting to give me little symptoms and little like, scratch. I have to scratch myself over here. It could either smell it or, or, or a little bit of it, the odor. It, like if I do this, it, it knows. Your body knows and it, and it does not want it. At the beginning, if you put this on your body right here, your entire body goes into into red alert. You go, you get very sick because your bot, your 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 a, a part of your body that's not you knows that there's a major threat. Okay, a threat to them, not to you. All right. See, look, I got a scratch over here because it knows. That's how smart these fuckers are. All right. That's it, you fill it up with water. Oh man, I never filled up that water. Oh, I don't even have any water right now. I'm not using tap water, but I'll show you right here. My, my water this filler broke. It break it breaks every two years. I have been so busy. My uh I have a water distiller, I'm gonna make a video on it. Now this I have to brace it. Perfect. I'm just using that little, you know, the filter in here. You know, bowl jars and stuff. Since the, my water is still broke, I'm, I'm drinking this right now. And I feel it right away. I feel it. Because this does not filter everything. And uh, I'm feeling like a little bit of heavy metal. Okay, that's it. So now, pretty much, 
now it goes back to this. You fill up the water, you mix it up good, and then you let it sit. If there's still white stuff on the bottom, then you take it the next day and put it in a different container and leave this stuff. You could add water to this and make a, a, a second batch, but you know, uh, because it's only one ingredient, and then you, you, you'll, you'll get more experience. So now I need this because, I'm, because I don't have any water right now. I have to wait for this, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. I'll take a picture right now of, of this, for example. And I'll take the one of the femendazole too. Kind of like this. What? I'll even do these caps right here. This one I'm not good, that one I'm not including. I got the fembendazole powder, and I got blessed herbs. And then I'll take a little snapshot right here. Kombucha too, I'll throw the kombucha in there. And I'll take a picture, boom, right there. And then that's, I'll do the water too. Oh hey, I could do that while I'm, No, I'm going to do it after. All right? So I hope this video was helpful. And, uh, you know, that's it. How do you how to utilize MMS to calcium hypochlorite? I, I gave a little bit of a teaser on Fembendazole uh, dog dewormer and how I use it for my personal use. I am not recommending this without supervision, but I gave you a little bit of breadcrumb. So you could search it up. Jim Humble, is the, he's got hundreds of hours of videos online. And that's about it. I hope everybody has a great day. As soon as I get through this month of uh, November, I am going to go full force into the my paperwork. And I'll be doing meetings with Google Workspace pretty much as often as I can. All right. I hope everybody has a great day and wholeness.